Hi, thanks for joining me on Wilderness with Imani. I'm still at the back of Eagle Lake. I just finished fishing. I took a little nap because I was just tired from last night. And I set up my fly rod with a uh, four-foot leader, and I'm going to go down and see what that creek is like, the Outlet Creek. I've never fished it before. I've just seen it, and it, and it they, looks like they cleared some of the brush out of that canyon so you could reach some of the stuff. I packed up my uh, spinning rod, and it's just going to give me more practice with my left hand. Uh, those of you that are new to my channel, my tendons and my elbow got really fried from fishing so much. So I've been trying to fish with my left hand the last four or five days that I've fished on my channel. And um, it isn't pretty, but I'm getting better at it. And uh, if I can get to the point where I can fish with either hand, there'll be no stopping me. Because then, then there'll be bushes. I'll be just, I'll be attacking with like a crab attack. <laughs> It'll be all good. So I'm just going to go down and... I'm gonna fish this little bead head and it's a little bit bigger because there's some good flow in there and I saw some good pools and I've, I don't even know what's in there. There could be big fish, there could be little fish, I have no idea. So let's go down and hike out there and take a look. I shot the clip back here because there was a bunch of people at the front of the lake swimming and stuff. So uh, let's go down in that creek and see if there's anything going on. Man, there's a bunch of people hanging out at the front of the lake, but there always is, unless you come up here when I came last time in that clip on my backcountry lakes and creeks list where the, half the lake is covered with ice and it's like 40 degrees high. I saw a place you can get down to the creek over there. I don't know anything about this creek other than it should have fish in it. There's a bird's eye view. I'm not going to be going down here. That's too... It's too much work to get down there. And there's a few pools downstream that are a little bit easier to access. This is the first place I saw where I can get down and it's not too crazy. You know, I gotta scramble down this stuff, but I've always wanted to fish down here and I just never got around to it. Down to a pretty good looking pool. I don't see anything in there, which doesn't mean a whole lot. But sometimes I like to see if there's something in there before I start casting. But let's see. I got a little rainbow. Now oh, there's something in here. <laughs> let's see what we got here. It's a nice little wild fish. Let me get my hand wet, I'll show them to you. There he is, little rainbow, little wild fish. Woo, there he goes, there he goes. And as I said, I've shortened my leader to three feet, or four feet, I'd say that is, about three and a half, four feet. And that's just cause this is really small water to fish. You don't really need a long leader here. Beautiful creek. I'm just not seeing enough where I feel it's worth it for me to climb over all of these boulders and stuff. So I'm gonna try that pull by the footbridge and uh, that'll be my test on whether or not I want to deal with this anymore. There's beautiful Emerald Bay from above. Can't wait to fish there when it gets cold. There are people everywhere, but there's fish in here. I can see one. And the fish are all freaked out, but, but I got one. Ooh, he hit it. He swam right up and hit it, man. He didn't even hesitate. Let me see if there's anything hanging by these rocks and then I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, this fish. Three shots at a fish and I've missed every single one. And there's decent little fish in here. I mean, it's not, they're not huge, but they're in here. 
And because there's so many people all over the place, I'm having to, Oop, there we go. There we go. There we go. I figured I had to land one eventually. Oh. And it's a brookie. Nice brookie. There we go. Nice brick trout. Get him back in there. I know my leader's short. I've gotten all the fish in here so far by letting my line sink all the way down. And I've, I've, had, I've missed three fish already because I was kind of surprised. But that was a nice brookie for this little pool by the bridge. If you guys can recognize that footbridge. Watching that brookie in that pool has me now scaling down a cliff. <laughs> That's all I needed to see to get me to come down here. Going up is gonna be a lot easier than coming down. It's kind of dangerous. There's definitely fish down below. I just had a nice hit from a pretty nice fish. There we go. There's some nice fish down below that pool, boy. Woo! Some nice brookies. Look at these brookies in this creek. I can't believe I never stopped to fish here. A little creek like this. There he is. That's a good fish for this little creek, boy. Woo! That guy saw something swimming around out there with my polarized glasses, and he was hanging out right under the waterfall. So I had to get my fly to stay in that zone right there. It wasn't easy, but it can be done. There's more fish in this pool. I can see them chasing my little nymph. I'm just dragging it through. But I think I got the big guy in the pool already. It hits in this pool right here. But everything's happening really fast. But there's a fish in there. He's hit it three times already. And he might be done. <laughs> I never get the camera on in time. Oh, there we go, there we go. There we go. There we go. And this one is a brown, I believe, yeah. Oh, got him. Nice brown, woo. There he is in the, in the net. I mean, this is as good as a fish I was getting in the lake. So let me get my hands wet. I'm gonna hold this guy up. There he is. That's a beautiful brown for this little creek, boy. This creek is solid. Woo! I had an audience up on the bridge. So, you saw what I was doing there. I mean, everything had to happen really fast. And there's more fish in that pool. So I'm gonna see if I can't get them to bite. You throw your line in. I got a three foot leader probably. And the fish, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Two fish out of the same pool. <laughs> and this is a brookie. That's a nice brookie, man. These are nice brookies if, they, if you got them in a lake. But a little, hole like this, it's gold. And my fly is all torn up, but it really doesn't matter because the fish, they gotta respond so quick in here. They don't, you know, they just gotta grab it and go. It's like fast food. So my leader's about three and a half feet long, and I'm just flicking it up into the white water and trying to get it to linger as long as I can. I quit, but I was able to ride, to take this tree down use it as a ladder. I'm on a mission. 
I just went to the other side. And I'm hoping I can get down there to that pool. I don't think I can. I'm not completely comfortable walking over stuff like this, but if that brown could be in that little hole, there could be something giant in this pool down here. So I'm willing to go a little bit farther. The trail's right there, so I can get out here. I just can't fall. Tied on a woolly bugger. I'm gonna strip this through this pool a couple times. Ooh, one chased it. One came up for it. There's fish in here. Ooh, there he goes. Ooh, he was on it. He hit it. He ain't big. <laughs> he ain't big, but... Oh, he came off. That was good. He basically hit a woolly bugger that was almost as big as him. So I get to grab somebody's snapple that made it downstream. That way it never ends up in Lake Tahoe. But that was great, man. You know, the fishing in this creek, the Outlet Creek, I've walked by it a half dozen times and I've never fished it. There's some nice brookies in the big pool right by that bridge. And that's just like, shoot right up. And then if there's a little bit of a lane, you can get down here and you can make it down to these big pools. And you saw that brown. And I'm fishing just that short leader. My leader's about three and a half feet long. And when it comes to leader length, the right leader is whatever the situation calls for. That's all it is. And I got some left-handed fishing in. I did a little bit with my right hand down here just because I was flicking it and it wasn't that big of a deal. And uh, it was great. The brookies were all nice. That brown was unbelievable for this little tiny clear creek. But you saw how I was flicking in that little pole. The fish only have a second to grab it. So don't worry so much about what your presentation looks like. The fish don't have time to look at it. You know, that's, that's the saving grace. And uh, it's great fishing down here. The best way to present your fly in a small creek like this is any way you can. You got it. Whatever the creek will give you, that's the what you got to do. Because the ideal, there's no such thing as ideal when you're climbing around on stuff like this. So I hope you enjoyed this little bit of footage I got fishing the Outlet Creek. I didn't get anything up above the bridge, but once I got to that plunge pool below the bridge, by the bridge, I was getting bites and hooking fish when people were swimming in it. And then I came just down to these couple pools and it was on, baby, on. So thank you for joining me on Wilderness with the Monty. Until next time.